This is the formula for answering any question in English. R plus R plus A. And today I will teach you how to use it in this video. Welcome to Speak English with Tiffany. I am Teacher Tiffany. Let's jump right in. R plus R plus A. The first step to answer any question in English is to recognize. The second step is to restate. And the third step is to answer. Now, let's see this in an example. The question we are going to look at is, when you were in high school, who was your favorite teacher? Now remember, we want to see what they are actually asking us about. The question starts off by saying when you were in high school, but the information they really want is, who was your favorite teacher? So what we must recognize is, which of the five W's is this actually referring to? Is it who, what, when, where, or why? Well, since it's actually asking about our favorite teacher, we know that it's talking about who. All right, so the first step is done, and we move on to the next step. The second step is again, restate. Now, all you have to do at this step is restate the unused portion of the question. The first part was, who was your favorite teacher from step one? But the remaining part of the question is, when you were in high school. This part becomes the part that we will use in our answer. We are going to restate this. So, when you were in high school is what's going to be in our answer. But remember, to answer this, we have to say, when I was in high school. Now, let's go to the next step, the last step. The third step is answer. So, when I was in high school, my favorite teacher was, and our answer, Mr. Smith. That's how easy it is to use this formula, R plus R plus A. But let's look at some other examples in more detail. All right, our next example question is, what did you do during your last vacation? Okay, so again, our formula is, R plus R plus A. So let's get started with the first step of the formula. The first R represents what? Do you remember? That's right, you got it. Recognize. Remember, the first step is to recognize what they are asking us in the question. Which of the five W's is the question asking us about? So, the important part of the question is, what did you do? So what we're gonna do is try to find out which of the five W's this is talking about. Is it who, what, when, where, or why? You got it. It's asking about what? So this is the information we need for step one. Now let's move on to step two. All right. So for step two, we have another R and this R stands for, do you remember? Very good. Re state. So we saw that in the first R we learned that what did you do was the focus. The remaining part of the sentence, is the part that we want to restate during your last vacation now remember we are going to restate this in our answer but we have to change your to what during my last vacation so if we restate this it will sound like this during my last vacation okay so let's look at the last step now our last step is the a what does the a stand for you got it the a stands for your answer okay now let's write our answer during my last 
vacation. Now we're going to write what we did. I climbed up a mountain. This is our answer to the question. This is what she says. Our next question is, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Okay, so once again, our formula is R plus R plus A. The first R is, do you remember? You got it. Recognize. Remember, we are going to recognize which of the five W's the question is asking us about. So the question again is, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? So the focus is where would you go? And which of the five W's is this? That's right. You got it. Where? So the focus of this question is where? So let's keep going. Let's move on to the next R. The next R, do you remember what it stands for? Good job. It stands for re-state. Very good. So where would you go is the focus of the question, but the remainder is the portion that we must restate. So the remainder of the question is, if you could go anywhere, in the world. Now remember, we must restate this and instead of you, we will say I. So let's rewrite that and add it to the portion that we will use later. If I could go anywhere. And we'll just stop there because we know what the rest is going to be. So. Now let's go to the last step. The last step is A. A represents what again? You got it. The last step is to answer the question. Now let's write our answer now. If I could go anywhere, in the world, where is the focus? I would go to Paris. Okay, so we've answered the question. If I could go anywhere in the world, I would go to Paris. And our next question is, why have so many people started to move to Hawaii? Okay, once again, our formula is R plus R plus A. Okay, the first R is again, we need to recognize. We need to recognize which of the five W's this question is asking us about. Well, to be honest, this question is a lot easier because it says, why have so many people started to move to Hawaii? So what's the focus? You got it. The focus is why, which means this is the W that the question is referring to. So we'll put why at the bottom. Now let's move on to the next step. Okay. The next step is R. And it means that we need to restate. Well, the only word that we used was why. So the remainder of the sentence becomes the part that we must restate. So let's go ahead and just write it all out on the bottom so that we can use it when we answer. Here we go. Have so let's fix that E many fix that a people started 
to move. Let's go on the bottom. To Hawaii. Okay, so this is what we're going to use when we answer the question. We're going to use this portion and restate it. Okay, so let's go to the last step. Our last step is to letter A. Do you remember? That's right. The last step is to answer the question. Okay, now this one changes a little bit. We're going to move this have and put it right here. So this is how we will answer the question. So many people have started, let's curve it a bit, to move to Hawaii. Now we give our answer because, let's talk about the weather. Because the weather there is so amazing, is so amazing. So let's say it one more time. So many people have started to move to Hawaii because the weather there is so amazing. Now, if you want even more details and more examples on how to answer any question in English, then you must get your How to Make Long Sentences in English ebook today. Through this ebook, you will learn how to answer any question in English and also how to make long sentences in English. Keep learning and go to speakenglishwithtiffany.com slash how to ebooks today.